Hello, I'm Sue Eldridge and this is my Monday moment. Welcome and thank you for joining me. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about how I navigate through the storms in life. Um, I seem to have had more storms than <laughs> and my fair share of storms um, over the years. Um, it feels right now that I'm in a really wonderful place of peace and calm and I so appreciate that. But it's important to, I think when you're in a place of peace and calm, to be able to reflect and to be able to um, analyse probably isn't the right word, but just go over what you do and how you navigate a storm. Because when you're in it, it's not particularly easy to think clearly uh, necessarily. So, um, so I wanted to just share with you some of the things that are my anchor we read in hebrews 6 don't we that it says um we have this hope as an anchor for the soul firm and secure when you're going through the storm the last thing you want to be is just tossed this way and that way and the other way by the waves you want to you want to have something that you're holding on to something that is non-movable non-negotiable that I, I know this is my truth. So um, I just want to share with you three things. There are actually a lot more, but just in this Monday moment, I wanted to share with you three things that are my absolutes when I'm going through a storm. The first one is that I know that I know that I know that God is good. You go, well, of course God is good. But m most of my growing up, I believe that I would say, of course, God is good, but, you know, maybe the things that happen to me are because he wants to teach me something or he, I need to learn something or that he's punishing me for such and such. That's not. When I look through the word of God, that is not what I see, especially in the New Testament. He is good. He is good. He cannot do bad that is not his character, there's nothing in him where bad things can come from him. Only good things can come from your God. So if you're going through a trial, you're going through a sickness, you're going through a pain, a loss, it isn't from God. Will he use it? Of course he will. Will he turn it around for good? Yes, because that's what he says he'll do. But he didn't send it, he's good. He's good. He's not punishing you. He's not, he doesn't discipline you by putting your hand in the fire. If you put your hand in the fire, he will help you to learn that he is good. And that for me has been huge when I've been going through trials because the devil will try and put shame on you. That What did you do to deserve this? Uh-uh. I just want to, you to know that that is never now in my thought process. God is good. My second one is, he does what he says he will do. You know, um, this is true. The word of God is true. And we mustn't pick and choose little bits. He said he is faithful. He said ask. He said when you speak to him, he listens and he answers. Sometimes the answer is no, but he always listens to every single prayer and petition and he does the good things for you he is true to his word he is not a liar and the the third thing i just want to share with you is that he gives you he gives me authority in the storm wow yeah he gives us the authority when he was with the disciples in the boat asleep he was and they woke him up wake up he said why You've got authority over the storm. So, you know, you can speak to your storm and you can command it in Jesus' name to be still. Peace, be still. And I would often say, I say to this sickness or whatever it is, I say to this situation, peace, be still. And then I address my emotions and I say to my emotions, peace be still and then I address my mind where everything's going and I say to my mind peace be still and I give this situation 
over to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, who is our rock, our fortress, our anchor, and our safe shelter in times of trials. I don't know if that helps you. It's very brief, but if you're going through something today, watch your three absolutes. He's your anchor. Hold on to him and trust. God bless.